Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Pisces. Let's see what's coming towards you for this month of February 2021. I want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's for those that celebrate. Uh, may love rain all around you. Okay, we're going to start off with the tarot cards. Once we're done with that, we will get into the oracle cards. Okay, my lovely. So let's get into it. Pisces, let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month. Now, your first card here is the 10 of coins. Uh, a lot of you guys really getting projects or goals that you have been trying to achieve or trying to attain, getting them off the ground. A lot of you guys, a lot of expansion in regards to finances. Now, we also have the world card here. So the world card is a transition. Uh, this is speaking directly about going into a next cycle in your life. This is the conclusion of something. For some of you guys, this could represent getting to the point of uh, you've been embarking on a situation that has to do with some type of goal or attainment, trying to find financial stability or financial growth. With the world card here, uh, what they're saying is that you're coming to that culmination. So for a lot of you guys, this is getting raises. For others of you guys, getting attention at work. This can also represent um, being very highlighted in regards to those around you or the people um, that you work with or that are in your workplace. This is a really powerful manifestation. With the Ten of Coins and the World card, this always indicates uh, having the possibility to grow or expand within your business, within your career, within your profession. So very powerful cards here. Now we also have here the lover's card. So for some of you guys, love is coming towards you. For others, uh, you are getting or setting the tone of the month of February. Uh, when we're talking about partnerships, when we're talking about longevity, this is uh, starting connections, uh, or dealing with people that ultimately have um, long-term goals here that they're trying to pursue your coming towards you. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini. For others of you, you may be dealing with Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type of energy here. Now, we also have the star card. Wow, Pisces, this is very powerful for you guys, okay? The month of February is going to be very expansive. Why? Because we're ending conclusions or cycles that are in connection with the struggle, that are in connection with really trying to find your way. I see you guys coming into your own. I see you guys much more powerful, much more stronger. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, that's not going to be the issue anymore. For the month of February, I do see you guys being very highlighted here with the star card. This is recognition. This is people really vibrating to your energy. This is also illumination in regards to love. So you may actually get news or hear of someone professing their love or interest towards you for this month. And I feel that what they're showing me here with the Ten of Pentacles, this could come off as a surprise to you because it could be someone that is already within your circle. Uh, this could be a friend, uh, some a friend's friend, someone that is being introduced to you. But I feel that they've already had their eye on you for quite a while. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I see you guys bonding much more stronger. I see the connection getting deeper here. I see you guys getting on the same page, on the same wavelength, uh, especially when we're talking about goals and aspirations. I see them really being receptive or trying to uh, really push you or you push them uh, to achieve their goals and aspirations here. Now, with the lovers, the star and the world card, these are major arcana, so this has nothing to do with everyday mundane. This has more to do with... Um, things that are outside of our control now when we go into february uh with the world card the lovers and the star card these are major indicators that your life is about to be transformed pisces uh this could be in regards to finding the stability or seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you're being guided here for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship if you felt like in the past you guys have been disconnected um i see you guys coming together again like i said this is a a connection it's almost like a uh, the strengthening of a bond here and for others of you this can also represent um being able to see progress in regards to a relationship where you have felt like things have not progressed as quickly as you would want them uh if you've been seeing a person for quite a while now 
and you just don't really see commitment or you don't see growth and expansion in this relationship, that's not going to be the issue anymore. Now, your next card here is the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so there is a situation that is going to be highlighted here for you guys for the month of February where there may have been people that got involved or had something to do with information that was misleading. So this could be uh, someone coming to you, giving you some type of communication. Uh, this could be in connection with uh, a relationship or a person that you've been dealing with for a while. And I see that you guys have been either too much in your head about this or feeling like something is off, feeling like they've been acting a bit weird. Um, but with the star card here and the seven of swords, there is illumination in regards to the situation that is going to be clearing out that type of energy. Pisces, I do want to mention, be very careful in regards to the people and information that you get from people or friends. There is a particular person, this could be a friend or someone that is just around you, not necessarily someone you trust. But I see them giving you some type of information that is in connection with this connect with this partnership or this relationship. And I feel that they're not coming from a genuine place. So take that information with a grain of salt. Again, like I said, by the end of February, that's going to be clearing out. And again, the bond, the connection between you and your partner is only going to strengthen from this, okay? Now, I do see you guys um, really going towards goals and aspirations with the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. This is indicating the need to really, uh, you may feel like at the present time, there's not a lot of changes or not much progress happening. What they're telling you is just be patient. This is something that is going to continuously keep unfolding before you. For some of you guys, I do see attaining some type of property or having the desire or looking into expanding. This could be um, getting real estate. This can represent uh, wanting to purchase your first home, uh, purchase a vehicle, something that is in the material sense. Um, and, and again, there is a need for elevation here. Not, not necessarily, um, of course, if you don't need a vehicle, I mean, there's no need to get a new vehicle, right? But what they're saying here is if you're feeling like at this point in time, uh, you've been dealing with issues in regards to uh, you've been dealing with issues in regards to a car or giving you a lot of mechanical issues and stuff like that. It's time to elevate yourself. You've outgrown that. Uh, it's time for you to uh, really put effort or focus towards saving um, so that you can be able to gain material uh, possessions that are going to help you propel you uh, moving forward. Okay. Now, let's see what Spirit's message is for you. What is the direct message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2021? How are you doing, Pisces? I see you guys doing amazing, honestly, with these major arcanas here, uh, the 10 and 10, 10 of coins and 10 of cups, a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of happiness in regards to career um finances uh just growth you know for those of you guys that have been thinking of starting your own business now is the time to do that pisces get that going stop procrastinating stop putting things in the back burner uh with the world card it's time to take charge it's time for you to really put yourself out there so that you can genuinely see the universe open up to you uh, very beautiful beautiful reading here okay and your messages from spirit uh your first card here is getaway so getaway could represent having the need to uh take some time off or focus for some of you guys you will be taking some time off or you will be trying to make some type of priority especially with the six of cups for those of you guys that have children uh it, it's really important to maintain that connection or to strengthen the connection with your children so i do see you guys um not necessarily a getaway but it could be like um trying to spend more time with them or having uh, really on your days off, making it almost like um, uh, some type of schedule where you're able to do multiple things throughout the day just to spend time with your children. Um, now, we also have solitude here. And solitude could represent, um, especially for those of you guys that are in a energy where you're really like, you're very, I see you guys extremely motivated. 
Um, but for some of you guys, this is going to resonate very different. For others of you, um, especially those of you guys that have been working really hard towards finding some type of financial balance or some type of financial um, structure, stability, there is a need for you to embrace solitude. So what I mean by solitude is oftentimes when we have a lot of things going on in our life, especially when we start to go or do good when it comes to finances, it's very easy for us to kind of distract ourselves or be around friends and having fun and stuff like that. What they're telling you is don't really um, don't stay in that energy for too long because the month of February is very important uh, in regards to propelling us into the future, uh, meaning the results that we're wanting to get. So it's not about uh, reaping your benefits right now because I see more abundance coming towards you in the next coming months. So what they're telling you is if it's necessary for you to pull away your energy just a little bit, just so that you can maintain that focus, so that you can maintain um, that motivation. If it's needed, then definitely do that. Why? Because oftentimes when we distract ourselves, it, it, it kind of gets too comfortable and we kind of forget about the goals that we're trying to achieve. So what they're telling you with solitude is that there is a need for you to maintain your focus and keep yourself motivated. And the next card is exactly what I just said. <laughs> We have the focus card here. So that's definitely what spirit is trying to communicate here, Pisces. It is important for you to maintain a clear head. And in, or, in order to do that, especially when we're trying to achieve, when we're trying to manifest goals, when we're trying to chase our goals and make things happen for ourselves, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for us to pull our energy back to really focus on ourselves focus on our goals, focus on what we're trying to achieve so that we don't get distracted. So that's going to be very important for you guys for this month of February. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some insight and um, I wish you guys happy Valentine's to all of you out there and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.